UK driving theory test practice. Topic 3. Documents. Question 1 of 30. For how long is an MOT certificate normally valid? Mark 1 answer. A. 10,000 miles. B. 30,000 miles. C. 1 year after the date it was issued. D. 3 years after the date it was issued. The correct answer is. C. 1 year after the date it was issued. Explanation. Some garages will remind you that your vehicle is due for its annual MOT test but not all do. To ensure continuous cover, you may take your vehicle for its MOT up to one month before its existing MOT certificate runs out. The expiry date on the new certificate will be 12 months after the expiry date on the old certificate. Question 2 of 30. What is a cover note? Mark 1 answer. A. A document issued before you receive your MOT certificate. B. A document issued before you receive your driving license. C. A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. D. A document issued before you receive your registration document. The correct answer is. C. A document issued before you receive your insurance certificate. Explanation. Sometimes an insurance company will issue a temporary insurance certificate called a cover note. It gives you the same insurance cover as your certificate that lasts for a limited period. Usually one month. Question 3 of 30. You've just passed your practical test. You don't hold a full license in another category. Within two years you get six penalty points on your license. What will you have to do? Mark 1 answer. A. Reapply for your full license immediately. B. Retake only your practical test. C. Retake only your theory test. D. Retake your theory and practical tests. The correct answer is. D. Retake your theory and practical tests. Explanation. If you accumulate six or more penalty points within two years of gaining your first full license it will be revoked. The six or more points include any gain due to offences you committed before passing your test. If this happens you may only drive as a learner until you pass both the theory and practical tests again. Question 4 of 30. For how long is a statutory off-road notification SORN, valid? Mark 1 answer. A. Until the vehicle is insured and moted. B. Until the vehicle is repaired or modified. C. Until the vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. D. Until the vehicle is used on the road. The correct answer is. C. Until the vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. Explanation. A SORN allows you to keep a vehicle off-road and untaxed. SORN will end when the vehicle is taxed. Sold or scrapped. Question 5 of 30. What is a statutory off-road notification, SORN? Mark 1 answer. A. A notification to tell the VLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. B. A notification to tell DVSA that a vehicle doesn't have a current MOT. C. Information held by insurance companies to check a vehicle is insured. D. Information kept by the police about the owner of a vehicle. The correct answer is A. A notification to tell the VLA that a vehicle isn't being used on the road. Explanation If you want to keep a vehicle and taxed off the public road, you must make a SORN. It's an offence not to do so. Your SORN is valid until your vehicle is taxed, sold or scrapped. Question 6 of 30 What's the maximum fine for driving without insurance? Mark 1 answer A. £1,000 B. £500 C. £5,000 D. Unlimited The correct answer is D. Unlimited Explanation Driving without insurance is a serious offence. As well as an unlimited fine, you may be disqualified or incur penalty points. Question 7 of 30 Who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate, V5C, is updated? Mark 1 answer. A. 
The licensing authority. B. The registered vehicle keeper. C. The vehicle manufacturer. B. Your insurance company. The correct answer is B. The registered vehicle keeper. Explanation. It's your legal responsibility to keep the details on your vehicle registration certificate, V5C, up to date. You should tell the licensing authority about any changes. These include your name, address or vehicle details. If you don't do this, you may have problems when you try to sell your vehicle. Question 8 of 30. In which of these circumstances must you show your insurance certificate? Mark 1 answer. A. When a police officer asks you for it. B. When buying or selling a vehicle. C. When having an MOT inspection. D. When making a sawn. The correct answer is A. When a police officer asks you for it. Explanation. You must produce a valid insurance certificate when requested by a police officer. If you can't do this immediately, you may be asked to take it to a police station. Other documents you may be asked to produce are your driving license and the vehicle's MOT certificate. Question 9 of 30. Which of these is needed before you can legally use a vehicle on the road? Mark 1 answer. A. A valid driving license. B. A vehicle handbook. C. Breakdown cover. D. Proof of your identity. The correct answer is A. A valid driving license. Explanation. Using a vehicle on the road illegally carries a heavy fine and can lead to penalty points on your driving license. You must have a valid driving license, pay the appropriate vehicle excise duty, road tax, proper insurance cover question 10 of 30. What must you have when you apply to renew your vehicle excise license? Mark 1 answer. A. A valid driving license. B. The handbook. C. The vehicle's chassis number. D. Valid insurance. The correct answer is. D. Valid insurance. Explanation. The vehicle excise license road tax can be renewed at post offices, vehicle registration offices, online or by phone. When applying, make sure you have all the relevant valid documents, including a valid MOT test certificate where applicable. Question 11 of 30. A police officer asks to see your documents. You don't have them with you. Within what time must you produce them at a police station? Mark 1 answer. A. 14 days. B. 21 days. C. 5 days. D. 7 days. The correct answer is D. 7 days. Explanation. You don't have to carry around your vehicle's documents wherever you go. If a police officer asks to see them and he don't have them with you, you may be asked to produce them at a police station within seven days. Question 12 of 30. What must learner drivers do before they start driving on the road? Mark 1 answer. A. Apply for a driving test. B. Pass their theory test. C. Sign their provisional license. D. Take professional instruction. The correct answer is C. Sign their provisional license. Explanation. Before a learner starts to drive on the road, they must have a valid provisional license for the category of vehicle that they're driving. They must sign the license because, without a signature, the license isn't valid. Question 13 of 30. What must you make sure of before you drive someone else's vehicle? Mark 1 answer. A. That the insurance documents are in the vehicle. B. That the vehicle is insured for your use. C. That the vehicle owner has third-party insurance cover. D. That your own vehicle has insurance cover. The correct answer is. B. That the vehicle is insured for your use. Explanation. Driving a vehicle without insurance cover is illegal, so be sure that whoever's car you drive, you're insured, whether on their policy or on your own. If you need to take out insurance, it's worth comparing several quotes before you decide which insurance provider best meets your needs. Question 14 of 30. 
Locke needs to pass an MOT test. What may be invalidated if you drive the car without a current MOT certificate? Mark 1 answer. A. The vehicle excise license, road tax. B. The vehicle service record. C. Your insurance. D. Your vehicle registration document. The correct answer is C. Your insurance. Explanation. If your vehicle requires an MOT certificate, it's illegal to drive it without one and your insurance may be invalid if you do so. The only exceptions are that you may drive to a pre-arranged MOT test appointment or to a garage for repairs required for the test. Question 15 of 30. What must a newly qualified driver do? Mark 1 answer. A. Be accompanied on a motorway. B. Display green L plates. C. Have valid motor insurance. D. Keep under 40 miles per hour for 12 months. The correct answer is C. Have valid motor insurance. Explanation. It's your responsibility to make sure you're properly insured for the vehicle you're driving. This is the case regardless of whether you're a newly qualified driver or one with more experience. Question 16 of 30. You have third-party insurance. What does this cover? Mark 1 answer. A. Damage to other vehicles. B. Damaged your vehicle. C. Fire damaged your vehicle. D. Flood damaged your vehicle. The correct answer is A. Damage to other vehicles. Explanation. Third-party insurance doesn't cover damage to your own vehicle or injury to yourself. If you have a crash and your vehicle is damaged, you might have to carry out the repairs at your own expense. Question 17 of 30. Who's responsible for paying the vehicle excise duty, road tax? Mark 1 answer. A. The Driver and Vehicle Licensing Agency, DVLA. B. The car dealer. C. The driver of the vehicle. D. The registered keeper of the vehicle. The correct answer is D. The registered keeper of the vehicle. Explanation. The registered keeper of the vehicle is responsible for paying the vehicle excise duty or making a statutory off-road notification sawn, if the vehicle is to be kept untaxed and off the road. Question 18 of 30. What information is found on a vehicle registration document? Mark 1 answer. A. The date of the MOT. B. The registered keeper. C. The service history details. D. The type of insurance cover. The correct answer is B. The registered keeper. Explanation. Every vehicle used on the road has a registration document. This shows the vehicle details including date of first registration, registration number, registered keeper, previous keeper, make of vehicle, engine size, chassis number, year of manufacture and color. Question 19 of 30. When must you contact the vehicle licensing authority? Mark 1 answer. A. When you change your vehicle. B. When you take your vehicle abroad on holiday. C. When you use your vehicle for work. D. When your vehicle's insurance is due, the correct answer is A. When you change your vehicle. Explanation. The licensing authority needs to keep its records up to date. It sends out a reminder when a vehicle's excise license, road tax, is due for renewal. To do this, it needs to know the name and address of the registered keeper. Every vehicle in the country is registered, so it's possible to trace its history. Question 20 of 30. When must you notify the licensing authority? Mark 1 answer. A. When you have to work abroad. B. When you lend your vehicle to someone. C. When your health affects your driving. D. When your vehicle needs an MOT certificate. The correct answer is... C. When your health affects your driving. Question 21 of 30. When may the cost of your insurance come down? Mark 1 answer. A. When you complete the Pass Plus scheme. B. When you don't wear glasses. C. When you pass the driving test first time. 
B. When you're under 25 years old. The correct answer is A. When you complete the Pass Plus scheme. Explanation. The cost of insurance varies with your age and how long you've been driving. Usually, the younger you are, the more expensive it is, especially if you're under 25. Pass Plus provides additional training to newly qualified drivers. The scheme is recognized by many insurance companies, and taking this extra training could give you reduced insurance premiums, as well as improving your skills and experience. Question 22 of 30. What qualifies you to supervise a learner driver? Mark 1 answer. A. You must be an approved driving instructor. B. You must be at least 21 years old. C. You must have held a license for at least a year. D. You must hold an advanced driving certificate. The correct answer. B. You must be at least 21 years old. Explanation. Learner drivers benefit by combining professional driving lessons with private practice. However, you need to be at least 21 years old and have held your driving license for at least 3 years before you can supervise a learner driver. Question 23 of 30. Your car requires an MOT certificate. When is it legal to drive it without an MOT certificate? Mark 1 answer. A. Up to 7 days after the old certificate has run out. B. When driving the car with the owner's permission. C. When driving to an MOT center to arrange an appointment. D. When driving to an appointment at an MOT center. The correct answer. B. When driving to an appointment at an MOT center. Explanation. When a car is three years old, four years old in Northern Ireland, it must pass an MOT test and have a valid MOT certificate before it can be used on the road. Exceptionally, you may drive to a pre-arranged test appointment or to a garage for repairs required for the test. Drive vehicles made before 1960 without an MOT test. They must be in a roadworthy condition before being used on the road. Question 24 of 30. A new car will need its first MOT test when it's how old? A. 5 years. B. 1 year. C. 7 years. D. 3 years. The correct answer is D. 3 years. Explanation. The vehicle you drive must be roadworthy and in good condition. If it's over three years old, it must pass an MOT test to remain in use on the road. Vehicles made before 1960 are exempt from the MOT test. But they must be in a roadworthy condition before being driven on the road. Question 25 of 30. The Pass Plus scheme has been created for new drivers. What's its main purpose? Mark 1 answer. A to allow you to carry passengers, B, to allow you to drive faster, C, to improve your basic skills, D, to let you drive on motorways. The correct answer is, C, to improve your basic skills. Explanation, new drivers are far more vulnerable on the road and more likely to be involved in incidents. The Pass Plus scheme has been designed to improve new drivers' basic skills and help widen their driving experience. Question 26 of 30. Your vehicle is insured third party only. What does this cover? Mark 1 answer. A. All damage and injury. B. Damage to other vehicles. C. Damage to your vehicle. D. Injury to yourself. The correct answer is. B. Damage to other vehicles. Explanation. Third-party insurance cover is usually cheaper than comprehensive cover. However, it doesn't cover any damage caused to your own vehicle or property. It only covers damage and injury you cause to others. Question 27 of 30. What's the legal minimum insurance cover you must have to drive on public roads? Mark 1 answer. A. Comprehensive B. Personal injury cover. C. Third party only. D. Third party, fire and theft. The correct answer is. C. Third party only. 
Explanation. The minimum insurance required by law is third-party cover. This covers all liability to others involved in a collision but not damage to your vehicle. Basic third-party insurance also won't cover theft or fire damage. Ask your insurance company for advice on the best cover for you and make sure that you read the policy carefully. Question 28 of 30. You claim on your insurance to have your car repaired. Your policy has an excess of £100. What does this mean? Mark 1 answer. A. The insurance company will pay the first £100 of any claim. B. You'll be paid £100 if you don't claim within one year. C. You'll have to pay the first £100 of the cost of repairs to your car. B. Your vehicle is insured for a value of £100 if it's stolen. The correct answer is C. You'll have to pay the first £100 of the cost of repairs to your car. Explanation. Having an excess on your policy will help to keep the premium down. However, if you make a claim, you'll have to pay the excess yourself, in this case £100. Question 29 of 30. What's the purpose of the Pass Plus scheme? Mark 1 answer. A. To allow you to drive anyone else's vehicle. B. To give you a discount on your MOT. C. To improve your basic driving skills. D. To increase your mechanical knowledge. The correct answer is C. To improve your basic driving skills. Explanation. After passing your practical driving test, that you can take further training. One option is known as the Pass Plus scheme. It's designed to improve your basic driving skills and involves a series of modules, including nighttime and motorway driving. Question 30 of 30. What does the Pass Plus scheme enable newly qualified drivers to do? Mark 1 answer. A. Avoid mechanical breakdowns. B. Increase their insurance premiums. C. Supervise a learner driver. D. Widen their driving experience. The correct answer is D. Widen their driving experience. Explanation. The Pass Plus scheme was created for newly qualified drivers. It aims to widen their driving experience and improve basic skills. After passing the practical driving test, additional professional training can be taken with an approved driving instructor, RD. Some insurance companies also offer discounts to holders of a Pass Plus certificate.